Being a teenager in the 1980s, we had our share of dream cars. There were some fantastic sports cars coming out in the 1980s, but what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at the top 10 sports cars from the 1980s. Now some limits on this was obviously there's a wealth of Ferraris and Lamborghinis that were extremely awesome coming out in the 80s. Uh, we're not going to include those overpriced sports cars. We're just going to include the sports cars for Main Street America. Number one, the Chevy Camaro, of course. Now what I'm talking about is the third generation that began production in 1982. The third generation of the Chevy Camaro was probably one of the most popular American-made sports cars in the 80s. Growing up, a good friend of mine had one of these and it was always a lot of fun cruising around with him. Number two, a Ford Mustang. Talking about the third generation starting production in 1979. Following what I refer to as the terrible Mustang II, this new hatchback Mustang, particularly the GT 5.0 in a convertible model, were wildly popular in the 80s, with Ford producing more Mustangs than any other Ford sports car of its time. Number three, the Pontiac Fiero, specifically the GT model, produced between 1983 and 1988. The Pontiac Fiero was the brand new concept of two-seater sports cars very popular car. As soon as people started to see the Fiero, everybody seemed to want one. Number four, the Porsche 928, produced between 1977 and 1995. Now obviously there was a lot of Porsches out in the 80s and many of them could be picked as being the best sports car. You probably put multiple Porsches on this list. However, it was the 928 that seemed to be the one that everybody wanted to get a hold of primarily because of its appearance in movies like Risky Business. It was a very popular Porsche. Of all the 1980s Porsches, this seemed to be the one that everybody wanted to get a hold of. Number five, the Toyota MR2 started production in 1984. The Toyota MR2, similar to the Pontiac Fiero, was a small two-seater sports car that really just kind of took the industry by storm. It was such a beautiful sports car that the moment people started to see it on the highway, everybody seemed to want one. And Toyota sold a ton of these MR2s. But this MR2 sports car was very different than most other things they had been producing up until that point. And it definitely took this country by storm. Number six, the Buick GNX, otherwise known as the Grand National Experiment. The Buick Grand National, or GNX specifically, was the second generation of the Buick Regal and was really kind of an experiment with the drivetrain being produced by McLaren Performance Technologies pumping out 276 horsepower, blowing away Ferraris, Porsches, and Corvettes of its time. The Buick GNX didn't necessarily look much like a sports car, but it was very much a performance sports car and highly sought after still to this very day. Number seven, Chevrolet Corvette C4 generation, produced from 1984 on. Of course, the C3 generation of the 70s and the early 80s was very beautiful, personally my favorite generation. But in the 80s, when the C4 generation came out, it became the Corvette that everybody wanted. The C3s became more like collectors and the C4s became one of the most sought after sports cars in the country. Of course, they didn't sell as many as a lot of the other sports cars were, that are on this list, but a lot of it had to do with the price range of this sports car as well. It's kind of the higher end of all the sports cars listed here on the top 10, but the C4 Chevy Corvette definitely was one of the most sought after Corvettes of the 1980s. Number eight, Nissan 300ZX. Of course, the Datsun 280Z and the 280ZX, just incredible cars. One of my all-time favorite cars. But when the 300ZX came out, to me, it was probably one of the best-looking sports cars maybe I'd ever seen up until its point. Really an incredible design to follow such beautiful Z cars. Number nine, the Pontiac Firebird. 
talking about the third generation produced from 1982 forward. Now I had a second generation Firebird, loved that car, but I was always a little envious of my friends that had the third generation, primarily because it's newer. Hindsight, I like the second generation better. But at the time, anybody that had a third generation Pontiac Firebird had one of the coolest sports cars on the road in the 80s. And finally, number 10. Now, this one is going to catch a lot of people off guard, and this is just my personal preference, but I have a lot of rationale behind it as well. And that's the Fiat X19. Now, the Fiat X19 gets a lot of flack because it had the Fiat brand on it, and the Fiat Spider was known as one of the worst sports cars of the 1980s. But this was anything but a Fiat. It was built by a company called Baritone and produced until 1989 based off of what was referred to as the A112 runabout from the 1960s. This particular car was designed by Marcello Gandini who also designed the Lamborghini Muro, the Countach, the Diablo, the Maserati Consen, the BMW 5 Series, the Alfa Romeo Carrebo, so many beautiful Italian and German sports cars designed by this little company called Baritone, but they could not just all of a sudden set up a bunch of Baritone distributors in the United States. So they slapped the Fiat label on it and sold it as a Fiat, which I think was to the detriment of what many referred to as the Mini Ferrari. I personally, out of all these cars listed, the X19 was always one of my all time favorites. Um, and I think it got a lot of flack simply because of that Fiat label. So uh, I, I know there is a lot of beautiful sports cars from the 80s I didn't list. Put them in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this episode, Car Classics.